Hey, what's up everybody? Today, we're gonna be playing Minecraft again. So, I have a few plans. I'm not 100% sure on what we're gonna do today, but just a couple things. I got a new mechanical keyboard, so you're gonna be hearing this click. Um, sorry about that. There's not really a good way for me to fix that. And I guess I'll show you guys what we're gonna be doing today. So, one of the big plans is gonna be a lot of ore breaking. Now, real quick story. So, the last video was quite a bit ago, and ever since then, I basically haven't really been wanting to record, but I still wanted to play. So what I did is I went mining and just doing grindy tasks. So uh, I got an entire double chest filled with coal ore. I got another double chest with like half iron, like six stacks of gold, uh, quite a bit of redstone a stack, and 11 of diamond ore, some lapis. Uh, a little bit more coal, lots and lots of wood, and then a bunch of these CD discs that I farmed. So, obviously, the wood I'm just going to place back. Uh, this stuff I'm going to smelt. So, I guess we'll start with the iron. So, let's go ahead and take all of this down. And we're going to have to take two trips, obviously. So let's take the rest of this gold and iron. I guess let's start out with the valuable stuff because this is more fun. So let's start out with the redstone, diamonds, and lapis. Yeah. And then we'll leave the coal for later. Now, I do have a fortune three pick. So obviously I'm not going to go to- Oh, I forgot one huge thing that I completely forgot. So while I also got bored, I also decided to do a little building for fun. Um, yeah, so I guess I might as well just show you. So I built this. Yeah, this very, very huge thing. I built it. Why? Not exactly sure, but I think it looks sick. So all of it is made out of bone blocks which came from the farm up there um yeah what else to say so this is a giant sword that's sticking in the building i kind of i don't know where i took inspiration from but it was like you know like giants battling and like the sword is stuck inside of something so this is just like a giant like little temple thing and then there was a giant battle and just all that's left is the sword and i made the sword out of lapis and it actually looks really cool at night and i'll show you guys that later uh but yeah this glows and it's kind of like an ice sword and obviously it's stuck in the building and from it is ice and water which is really really nice so um it might not look super impressive but i'm telling you at night it actually looks really really cool but yeah so it's pretty big like it's fairly big if we go in here now the inside is not decorated at all um actually do i have i do have let's go inside and let's take a look so it looks really really cool on the inside very large we could probably do something really really nice with this that's a creeper so i'm gonna oh i just oh uh, uh, take me out 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 Woo, landed in our chest field but yeah i built that we're gonna come back to it once it hits nighttime because like i said it's actually a lot cooler in the nighttime and figuring that out this is actually a perfect place to do our ore mining so I'm gonna lay each of ooh, a little bit of lag. I'm gonna lay each of these out, and then we're going to mine them. Okay, everybody, that is all of the diamonds laid out. Now this might not look like a lot, um, but I mean, obviously diamonds are a little bit harder to find than other ones. We'll have a lot of the others. So yep, yeah, fortune three. Let's see how many diamonds. So we have we had a stack and eleven. So if you guys in the comments want to try to guess how many we're going to get in total, remember it's a fortune three pick. So I'm just going to take a guess and say we're probably going to get around three and a half stacks. That's my guess. Three and a half. That is my guess. Now I might be a little bit short. Also, I probably should have turned off um, or not turned off, like put something else in my hot bar. But I probably gonna be a little bit short of that but like i said leave it in the comments if you want to play a little game and we'll see who's the closest 
actually I might be close maybe let's collect all of the diamonds and in the end we have two and a half stacks come on phone so that was pretty close not really it was an entire stack off but okay that is all we have for now all right guys so now I'm gonna lay out all of the redstone and lapis and we'll go from there That is a lot of lapis. Woo. Okay, I'm just gonna hope. Actually, this chest right here. I'm gonna hope. Please, is there something in the chest? Oh, there isn't in here. I'm just gonna hope this stuff doesn't despawn. All right, everybody. Final results on the lapis. Let's go back to the diamond chest. Four stacks, five blocks, and six left over. So next, we're gonna go ahead and do the redstone. Now this might be quite a lot, so this is gonna be fun. everybody so i laid out all of the redstone so here is all the redstone that we mined today this nice it's a pretty large cube honestly it's a pretty good size and i have some more from earlier expeditions so we're gonna do those two but real quick i want to show you guys what this looks like at night so my opinion that looks really sick because like it seems like like the blade of it is glowing and then it has like a little impact spot right there I don't know about you guys but i think that looks pretty cool but anyway i'm gonna get back to placing the redstone all right everybody so final result of the redstone is this gigantic cube so i'm gonna go ahead and start going through it and i'm just gonna turn them directly into redstone blocks Alright everybody, so I got done mining all of the redstone, so the final number is, I'm not going to call one of these, but that is a lot of redstone blocks. You have to imagine, each of these blocks holds 9 uh, redstone, so that's probably 2 or 3 double, 4 maybe double chests of redstone, so that's pretty nuts. But now we're going to get on to the harder job, also notice my level 56, that's pretty high. Next we've got probably the thing that's going to take forever is all of this coal so i do want to get through it what i'm going to do is put all this stuff away i'm going to keep my food on me put on some youtube and uh, it's going to take a while everybody so i've laid out all of the coal and here it is so a quite bigger box than the redstone oh this is gonna take forever like you might look at this and be like oh it's not that big you'd have you have to imagine that this is solid it's not a wall this is and my phone just went off again this is a solid block and each of these takes about maybe like half a second to mine this is going to take probably, it took like 20 minutes to put up. Probably going to take another 30 to 40 minutes to take down. And I have to stop back to like make them in a cold block. Oh my gosh, it's going to be... Uh... Alright, I'm going to stop whining. I'm going to get started. Okay guys, so finally, I think it's an almost 30, 30, 40 minutes later. It's all gone. It's all gone. And in the end, the final result is this. And I might look at this. You got two rows of a double chest. That's not that much. But guys, once again, you got to think about 
every single one of these blocks has nine. So every single one of these is nine stacks. Am I thinking of that right? Anyway, I'm not going to do math here. You get the point. This is a lot. It, it really is quite a lot. So we're going to take these, and I don't even think we're going to be able to hold the redstone runs. Okay, well, I'm going to take these all back and put them in one place. All right, guys, so final look. This is the amount of coal and redstone, and this is the amount of diamond and lapis. And here's just a bunch of other stuff that I got so quickly we're gonna move all of this wood we'll, we'll get a lot of good enchants and obviously i'm gonna do those with you guys where is my see this is my disc chest i have nothing in here man i have never gotten the discs so i finally just kind of hunkered down got myself some discs and we'll play with those later these two so i went through this entire pick while doing that and then i went through a little bit of this one that one was already mostly damaged quickly let's go through uh, grab everything that needs to be repaired. Go ahead and get some wood because we're actually gonna create uh, That'll be enough. We're gonna create some more weapons and obviously enchant them and stuff. Oh armor I Need a and by the way a lot of these anvils are broken. I'm gonna have to fix those how many so we have plenty of swords we Have one shovel. No, none of those. Okay, cool six of these six of those to create one two three four five six axes seven eight there we go have some of those and we already have plenty of swords so we're not gonna need that okay very nice we're gonna put that in there and we still have plenty of diamonds look at that we still almost have two stacks after creating all that let's go ahead and break this and i guess let's get going let's shove the lapis in there oh i fixed it with diamond ah gee, yeah come on david dig your brain my brain my brain Okay, we fixed it with diamonds, not lapis. That's enchanting. Um, right, let's just fix it to. Th and there goes that anvil. Okay, I told you. I told you guys these are very, very broken. Um, let's uh, let's uh, fix the silk touch. Hopefully, it's not. Ooh, seventeen. Oh, jeez. All right, that one's not getting fixed for now. Jeez. Uh, three levels to fix that one. Very nice. Oof. Um, eight levels. You know what? We're gonna go ahead and not fix that one either. That one also has mending on it, so I don't see why we can't fix that. It's uh, level four. We can fix that. Ooh, this one, this one's too expensive. Okay, so we're not going to be able to do those. So we can't repair those. So obviously, do you guys know how this works? You know how this works. I'm not going to explain it to you. Uh, but if I don't like what's enchanted here, I'm going to do it to another thing. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I'm breaking three. I'll take it. That is garbage. Very, very garbage. Efficiency 4, okay, I like that. I'm breaking 3, efficiency 4. Perfect, no issue with that. Efficiency 4, let's do it. Fortune, th very nice. That one's a very nice one. I'm breaking 3. Ugh, another pretty bad one. Okay, let's try one of these. I'm breaking 3. Very nice. Uh, even a silk touch. Very, very hard to fix. Perfect. I'm breaking 3. I'm breaking 3. Very nice, dude. I like it. Oh, God. We're already running low levels. Okay, let's try to power four. What can we get with this one? Smite. Ew. I'm breaking three. We have a lot of very, very cheap shovels, so I'm going to stay away from that. Let's try a bow. Power four. Unbreaking infinity. Very nice. And let's see what we get. Knockback two. Can we get efficiency four? What can we get with this? Efficiency. Let's just do that. Very nice. Another great axe. Okay, we should probably spend the rest of our levels maybe fixing. Um, I know we have... So, these boots are very, very nice. I should probably fix these boots, put them back on. Those aren't very nice. That's not very nice. This helmet is very nice, though. Three? I'll take it. Let's go ahead and fix that. I guess, um... Just like with this... Oh, yeah, that's another thing we should check on. The gold and the iron. Completely forgot about that. But this runs off of something, obviously. So, we're going to go ahead and try to make sure 40 blocks of coal, 30, 35, 40. Oh my god, these are these are stacked up already. We don't even need to fill these. Okay, actually, this one needs to be filled. I'm going to fill that one with 30, that one with 40. Oh, oh, these still have stuff in them, huh? Really? Oh, jeez. That is still producing stuff. Okay, well, uh, let's make sure all of these have at least half a stack in there. Um, and then, yeah, we probably won't even use half of these furnaces, but just the fact that 
we have furnaces with over a couple stacks of coal in each of them. Um, I thought I heard something. It's basically like a really weird flex. Let's go check on the iron and gold. And it's actually really weird that I almost forgot about them because obviously iron is one of the most important uh, things in the game. Okay, so we got a lot of glass, a lot of stone, a lot of stone, a lot of stone. Okay, so they're all in the top chest. Like for iron being so important, I'm surprised I almost forgot about it. So that is so much iron that I can't even fit it in my inventory. And actually, I'm a little bit scared because I don't even think I'll be able to fill this. Okay. So it looks like I'm going to have to turn them into iron blocks. This is actually a first. I've never had so much iron that I've actually had to create them into blocks that we can smelt of this too. So we don't have as much gold, but a very, very nice amount of gold. I am not disappointed in that. And let's go try to make uh, one more full block. And it doesn't look like we're going to be... Are we going to be able to... No, it doesn't look like we're able to make a full block, but very, very close. There we go. Perfect. Obviously, with the stuff that we're smelting, we'll be able to, though. Let's place those back in there. You know what? I won't even smelt this for now. But there we go, guys. Oh, we almost forgot about our lapis blocks. Um, so let's go back over here. Uh, let's just grab everything that we have out here. But I still have quite a bit, so I'm not... Too, 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 too worried. What do I have in here? This is just rationing. Okay, what is in here? Oh, I was going to build some TNT cannons. I'm just going to place these in he here because I'm a little too lazy to organize it. Also, I got to go because I want to go play another game. But, yeah, just a couple other things before I leave. For now, it's not the end of the episode. I'm going to do something else, but I'm just going to go do something else for now because I want to. And it's my life. I changed a few th little things. So, in here, um, I switched up like how it looks. So there was like these weird pole things, just took those out. Um, I added a light above and I also added a couple bodyguards back there. And obviously all that armor is junk armor. I'm not gonna, I'm not that, I don't want to flex that hard. So all of those uh, diamond helmets are like either have vanishing or something bad. And most of that iron stuff is just crap that I got that are broken from the farm. But it looks cool. It looks like I'm flexing really hard because I'm just having diamonds and iron, uh, iron everywhere. Uh, I don't think I changed anything with that. Oh, I took the map from over here, moved it over here. Why? Because uh, I want to do something with this corner that's very, very cool. So I just uh, put it over here. I do plan to have a map room later and we're going to have like a huge, I don't, why don't I just point at my screen, um, a huge like map of like a really, really big world. Um, in the last episode, Mapmaker, or my friend Kim, left a suggestion about the fish tank, I think. And I forgot what it was, so we're going to work on that later. Sorry, Kim. Um, did I change anything about this room? Oh, another uh, thing. I might have done this last, but I took all of the like the to-do list suggestions from here, moved them over into this room, and filled them all in. So we got plenty of stuff to work on later on. I didn't change anything in here. Okay, cool. I think that that's all the changes, guys. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go play some other game. I'll come back later tomorrow, today, tonight. I don't care. I'm going to come play this game later, and we're going to work on either like a potion farm or a building or something. I don't know. We're going to do it later. So guys, I will be back. Hey, everybody. So I think I know what we're going to be making today. So we're going to be making an automatic potion brewer. Now, just a couple of quick things. It is probably a couple of weeks later. I am sick. And also, this isn't live, sort of. So, basically what I did was, I was still sick during the time that I built it. And I didn't feel like coming on camera because there, this build is a lot of redstone. Like, not like too much, but you guys will see in just a minute. So, I decided to kind of build it off camera. Obviously, record it all, and I'm going to voice over it. Kind of explaining what's going on, what's, you know, what's going on. So, that's what we're going to be doing. I'm here right now. So, again, this is going to be an automatic potion brewer. So, how it's going to work is it's not going to be a mass brewer in the sense that you click a button and you get thousands of potions. It's going to be kind of like a select. So, if you guys remember in the front, there was like seven buttons. And on the other side, there is three buttons. So, basically, if you click that button, it gives you a specific type of potion and on the right there's the, the controls with redstone uh glowstone and something else which i can't remember at the moment 
So that's kind of how it's going to work. Now, real quickly, I do want to say this is Mumbo Jumbo's design. So obviously, I didn't design this. Um, I'm following his direct tutorial in this video. So I'm literally going step by step right along with him. Uh, so if you want to see the original video, uh, just type in like Mumbo Jumbo. Um, Minecraft Automatic Potion Brewer. It should be something like that. Um, it's a fairly, uh, I want to say simple design. This is a very late game design because there's a lot of droppers a lot of hoppers a lot of like comparators repeaters so it's definitely not an early game design um but if you've got yourself well established like i am um it's a great build so once again mumbo jumbos it is not my design um now there is a few flaws with the design it's not a perfect design um there's one critical problem with the design and there's one kind of um not too big of an issue so i guess i'll start with the one that is not too big of an issue obviously this is not automatic in the sense that you have to pick what you want and you have to click a button and when that happens you only get three potions so if you want more you got to click the button again which is kind of bummy but i mean technically if you stay there press the button three times i'll have nine potions each potions eight minutes you have more than an hour of potion so you, you have to also kind of be a little bit patient but there is one critical flaw and that actually comes in the form of a bug inside of the game um so i know this mechanism is kind of complicated and i'm not explaining the rest on as we go but um to a simplest form after the potions are done there's a hopper beneath um this the brewer itself and it's in theoretically it should pull the finished potions out of the hopper because it's deactivated so it's not locked anymore it should take out the potions and drop in a new set but it doesn't do that because there's a bug with how water bottles come out of a brewer so we have to manually take them out of the brewer which is kind of bummy um but that's basically the only bad thing about his design uh, but honestly for me i just needed a machine that made potions and yeah i could take them out honestly um, i would have loved a mass brewer but i really don't need one you guys will see in this a little bit i already have a double chest full of basically every single potion i really don't need any more so this is kind of it looks cool on the outside it's fairly useful if you just want something right now um it covers most of the potions so i guess you could call that another kind of little flaw this design is um I'm pretty sure you can actually add them though just with a little bit of more wiring you can add them into the design but at this moment this has only the potions that were kind of like originally in the game um you know not originally but like the first kind you know the obvious ones speed strength stuff like that uh this doesn't include like leaping or luck or any of those new ones that i think were introduced so uh, if you guys are looking for that you can add on to it i'm pretty sure but not at this moment so there was a lot of redstone that i did not explain um partly because i was too busy speaking but at the same time honestly i don't know half this redstone myself like i consider myself pretty decent with redstone but man <clears throat> looking at this video man i don't i don't think i'm this good with redstone i'm just gonna be honest uh, but I can kind of try to explain that. So obviously, um, there's a dispenser for each type of potion. Um, that dispenser has its specific ingredient inside of it. Um, you guys saw me place a lot of comparators and a lot of repeaters back there. In its simplest form, what that basically does is um, those comparators ca can tell where an item is in the little circuit. So if there's already an item there, it won't release anymore. And when you press that button, it basically unlocks the one you pressed, sends all of the items down. So it sends down the bottles, it sends down uh, the ingredient itself, um, and then after that, it also sends down your modifiers, which are over to the right, which you can see me put, placing right there. So redstone, glowstone, and uh, sulfur. So depending on where you flip that switch, that certain modifier will go along. So it's as simple as that. You click a button and it sends down all of them. Now if you want to get, again, the more nitty gritty with like the comparators of uh, when it unlocks the uh, hopper, when it, like, you know, stuff like that, um, 
you can watch Mumbo Jumbo's video again. He, he explains it pretty well. So at this point in time, the actual build itself is done. I'm kind of just doing the cosmetics of the build itself. So you can kind of see, um, I placed all of the, um, uh, the, the frames with the items. And then I'm also um, filling out the, the machine itself. Because obviously, I don't want my redstone exposed. Nobody wants a redstone exposed. So I'm just kind of building it up, clearing it, uh, replacing the walls, making sure... Uh, the slabs are right. Everything looks nice and flush. Now, the one thing is I did have to actually hit into the surface a little bit. Um, maybe I can, maybe you'll see it later. I don't know if I put it in here, but, um, part of the tree farm, there's like a little, uh, like stone slab in the middle of the random tree farm. Cause I had to poke a little hole, I think for a redstone torch that I needed to place. Um, so now you can see <clears throat> next to it, I am building like a little storage area because, I mean, this isn't like a mass brewer like I said before, but I'm gonna be brewing here a lot and probably I'm literally just gonna probably be running down here click on the button running away whenever I come back click the button again So I'll just be making potions constantly and obviously I have a lot of materials in this world I don't know if you guys realize this but like what, what episode we're on, like 90 something and yeah, we're pretty well developed. I've basically got double chests filled of every single item. All right, everybody so now we're live the edited portion is done so now we're going to kind of take a look at the final product because obviously everything was in like fast motion so you guys couldn't see it now real quick i'm gonna give you guys a little sneak peek of next episode because i've already kind of started working on the things now i'm just gonna say all of these contain items um, um you know what i'm not gonna that was a little sneak peek right there what is in here Ooh, look at all that Ooh, look at all that Ooh, look at all that um got three wither skulls here you know you guys know what that's used for um yeah a little sneak peek of what's gonna go on next episode oh that a little sneak peek that's not supposed to be shown it's not supposed to be shown we'll see that later anyway here is the final product so let's just kind of go through it again back here is just the storage area with everything if i need to do any maintenance or restocking of bottles or blaze rods or uh, whatever that powder cream I don't know uh, anyway so that is all back here and I can take care of that and right there that is where um, actually I wonder if I can just I probably just block that up maybe maybe I didn't need to do that um, but let's give out the little uh, the thing a little tour right so once again redstone extends potions uh, glowstone increases their effectiveness and sulfur makes them a splash potion so you can have either redstone or glowstone and then splash if you want so i don't use splash because i because it lowers the effect depending on where you splash i'd rather just drink the thing and i always do for the eight minutes because i don't really use a lot of like the strength too i don't really use that stuff i only basically I only use uh water breathing night vision and speed sometimes not even really and then obviously um these things at the top tells you what's in stock so apparently i don't have sulfur in stock i don't know why and then I, um oh okay so basically it shows if there's anything in stock inside the chest but it still can be in the hopper so like in this case there's a lot of blaze stuff in the hoppers there's just not any um so yeah anyway here's all the selection that we have so we have strength uh regen uh water speed i don't know fire resistance night vision whatever all that stuff is i can't remember so that all travels down and comes into here and there's potions right so like i said um the potions are supposed to drop down into this hopper and down into this chest they don't do that because it's a bug in the game so basically you have to take them on manually but let's actually give this a whirl now i don't want to do this actually no i'm not gonna do this. i only have like two teardrops in there at the moment so let's go ahead and Let's go make some no, let's go make some night vision potions those are probably the most useful so you can tell things already started popping up in here the water bottles so first comes down the nether wart and oh not supposed to be showing you guys that i keep forgetting i can't turn around at least not yet ooh, ooh. okay so are these done yet okay so they're about to be done so that once the nether wart makes them into awkward potions then the golden carrot comes after that's done the redstone will come and yeah you guys also have to take my word for it it'll be all done once yeah that's going on so let's drink one of these i thought i let's see how fast i am actually i'm not that fast that's kind of disappointing actually i'm not that fast 
But anyway, guys, so this is the final product. It blends in nice with the wall, blends in nice with all of this. So I think it's very nice. I do miss my old potion farm because if you guys remember, we did have one before. Uh, but obviously it broke with a couple of the new updates. Um, but this one looks more uh, like pleasing though to the eye, you could say. Because that, you know, has lights and stuff like that. But guys, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to like the comment and subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you guys later. God bless and goodbye.